Hello. Yes, my friend, you are live on here. What do you want to say to us? Uh, it's too late and you're streaming still. But this is the, so you are calling me to say to me it's too late? No, I want to tell you that you are so obsessed with my prophet. Why? My friend, I am obsessed with the truth. I want to save the Muslims. So it's imagine if now it is for me 2.13 a.m. in the morning and I save a Muslim from going to hell. Isn't it amazing? Instead of going and sleeping and snoring. So let me save you. What do you think about what we are saying? I know that's amazing if you are really truthful that you are here to save a Muslim. Yeah, but why, why I'm here? Why I'm here? Are you paying me to say, to to talk to you? Did I, did you pay? Like any? Oh no, not what I'm saying. Huh? So why? So so what I'm getting from talking to you now? What is the benefit for me? If that's what you are doing, mm -hmm. then it's good for you. Okay, but let me ask you. As long as we mention this, shall I charge people to talk to me? Like now you are calling me, or I should not? I should talk to everybody if I'm a good person. Yes, you should talk to everyone. Okay, so why your prophet he will not talk to anyone unless he pay him? Okay, we'll get to that, but... No, no, we get this to that now. Why your prophet will not talk to anyone unless you pay him? I don't know what are you talking about. Show me. Don't, don't tell me why I'm talking about. I'm asking you. Is it true that your prophet will not talk to people, individual, unless they pay him? Yes or no? I don't know about that. So I don't care if you know or not. I'm asking you, is that good or bad? I don't know the context. Show me. If I read it, I will know. I will tell you before, you know, okay, I'm asking you, is that bad or good? I mean, you need to don't know. Is it right that I will not talk to you unless you pay me first? Look, I cannot say right or wrong. Why not? Because, because there has to be, if my prophet uh, asks for money to talk, yeah, then there has to be a reason for it, you know. Because okay. So what, why, what is the reason that I want to talk to you? You will not talk to me and you are a prophet unless I pay you first. You know, I think you are lying because Allah said this prophet does not ask you for any money. Okay, so I'm asking you why you're a prophet then? He will not talk to you or to me or to anyone unless you pay him first. I don't believe because Allah says uh, my prophet never asks money. Okay, I'm asking you again. You don't believe, but are you saying to me that this is, will be a contradiction? I have to see what it's about, you know. I have to... No problem. I'm asking you again. Are you saying that there's no... You just said no way the Prophet will do so. That's mean this is bad. No, it does not mean it's bad. It... So, but you just said no, you know, there was no way the Prophet would do that. No, I said Allah said he doesn't. Well, you said I think you are lying. Why you said to me I'm lying if it's normal to do that? What make you think that this is a lie unless it is an embarrassing? No, why I'm saying is because... Read for me chapter 58 verse number 12 and don't waste my time. Uh, what did you say with chapter? 58 verse 12. Okay, all you who have believed when you privately consult the messenger present before your consultation a charity that is better for you and pure but if you find not then indeed okay Allah is not like forcing everybody mm. you see Allah is saying but if you cannot give it then mm. Allah is forgiving ah, okay but this is make it a sin like you know when you go now if you want to talk to the prophet and you don't have anything in your hand 
Allah will forgive, you know, Allah is all merciful. He's, he's, he's making them feel guilty. So you have to bring something to him. And you will see here it says in a private consultation. So you're a prophet, he have a clinic. He have he opened a business. You want to talk to me in a private, you have to spend some money first. It is for the sake of Allah. For the sake of Allah, you have to give it to Muhammad. What's sake of Allah? You have to give it to Muhammad. Allah's religion. What? To help Allah's religion, he, he has to give some money. People well, have why Allah don't give him money? Isn't it Allah is God? Isn't it Allah he can open rivers of gold and silver to Muhammad? Why Allah he need to beg for money asking Muslims, the poor Muslims, to give Muhammad their money? Allah can do all of that, but Allah... No, he cannot. Prove it. Here we go. You just said that Muhammad, he need the money. Let me, let me, let me ask you, did Allah ask the Muslims for a loan? Yes, that's... Okay. Why, that's... Allah, why Allah is asking for a mortgage, a loan? Okay, let me explain to you. You see? Mm, you see. It's same with how Jesus, you guys say, he came to the world humbling himself, right? Mm-hmm. My Allah is humbling himself. Humbling himself by borrowing money from the Jews? Your prophet, did your prophet borrow money from the Jews according to you Muslims? Uh, I mean, he, he, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It looked like you know nothing. Did he? Well, this is what you Muslims say that the prophet, he, yeah, he borrowed money from the Jews. Okay, so what are you trying to prove from that? Well, I'm trying to say that your prophet is taking money from everybody and Allah is not providing him. And Muhammad is making verses from the Quran just to collect money to the point Allah is saying, who who give Allah a, a beautiful loan so Allah will double it for him. Secondly, if Muhammad took a mortgage from the Jews, that means he paid interest and that will not make him a prophet of God for he himself practicing something against God teaching. What kind of a prophet he pay interest by taking a mortgage from a Jew? A Jew will not give you the money for, for nothing. It's not a charity. He's doing a business. So Muhammad take a money from the Jews. He is paying interest. Muhammad, he is seeking money. He asks people. He says, if you give me money, Allah will give you a corner lot in heaven. So Muhammad is a fraud. Wherever he go, he want to take money. Did he, pay, did he pay back the Jews? No, he killed him. He took the money and then he killed him later. So you're a prophet. This according to you that he borrow money. I believe. I don't believe in this garbage. But here you see that Allah keep in the Quran saying, who want to give Allah a, a beautiful loan? Why Allah, he need a beautiful loan? Cannot Allah open all the money and the, the sources to Muhammad? Can't he provide him? Don't you, don't the believers say, you know, God is our provider? Who is the provider of Muhammad? Who is the provider? Yeah. It's Allah. Like no, even uh, if you, Allah himself is begging for money, how Allah is his provider? That's Allah motivating his slaves. Oh, so, to, he, so if, Allah, he motivate his slaves, so, but he cannot give money. Allah himself, he cannot give money to Muhammad. Did he give him money? Whoever gave him money. What do you mean whoever? Why Allah saying, give a mortgage to Allah? Okay, let me explain. Explain, go ahead. Since my Allah... By the way, I, I noticed that you are the smarter between all your brothers. You are the only one kid in the family, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is why you are the smarter between all the brothers. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Genius. Okay. Continue, go ahead. Like those people, whoever gave money, right, to my prophet, they gave it because Allah told them. So it's basically they are giving because Allah asked for money. Mm. So my prophet is getting that because of Allah's order. You see? Mm. See, that's how Allah provides. You don't see the wisdom. You oh. don't see the beauty of Islam. Oh, okay. And Allah said, I will give you 700 times more on the day of judgment. <laughs> and okay, hold on, hold on. okay. So Allah will give you 700 times in the day of judgment. What you would do with the money in the day of judgment? Not money. What he will give you then? He will he will give 700 times the reward what is okay seven time reward what what is that that's gonna be 700 times more status in jannah what does that mean you see there are different levels in jannah what does that mean 
meaning let me explain to you one level in jannah the Excellent. difference is uh, let's say i am in a lower level and my father is in upper level than me okay so i will be looking at him like how you guys look at star true, that's true. how far he will be okay and what what is that mean i mean okay you told me that he is now he is far but this is not good because you will not see your dad no more what is the what is oh. the what kind of reward this reward is so now you are you and your and your father in heaven but you are in the floor he is in the front floor hey dad do you hear me no you eat it i cannot hear you i'm so far what, what? i just gave you an example you, you, okay, this is your example not my example your example is funny and stupid I asked you, you said 700 more time reward. And you said to me, it's a, there, is, there is devil. But, but what you would do in those devil, what you would get? Is it true that Allah will give you 80,000 little boys in heaven to do things to you? Those are slaves. Okay, why you need the slaves in heaven? What they would do exactly to you? Allah, Allah will make us kings in our Jannah, you know? Okay. Allah will make what, us feel like we are kings. Okay, uh, what, okay, what, okay what, what the slaves will do, explain to me. They will give us whatever we want, like they will serve us with food. So those you need 80, how many sandwiches you will eat a day? It depends on what, how that place will be, you see. Uh, okay, but hold on. Is okay. it, isn't it your God, Allah, he says, even the Hadith says, if you look at the bird in the sky, it's going to be in your dish right away, so there's no need for a servant. Is it your Quran says that your clothes will never wrinkle, will never be worn, which means you do not need laundry, you do not need to take a shower, and the food, even the trees will go down to you. So what the servants for? They will do nothing. What those servants are doing? No, those servants uh -huh. are there uh -huh. for specific time. They will bring food at specific time. But, uh, your God, Allah, he just told you that the food will come to you. Nobody need to bring it to you. Yes, that will come, but that does not mean that the slaves will not do what they're supposed to do. Okay, hold on. Can you describe for me first the slaves? Describe them for me. By the way, you are the smarter again between all your brothers, and you said you are the only brother, you are the kid in the family, and you agree that. Okay, so describe for me exactly how those slaves look like and what their age. Is it true that they are kids, little boys? I mean, they are young. How young? Described as, I don't know exact number. Why you don't know? They are young. They are like maybe physically strong, young, you know? Strong. Are you like them strong? No, I'm not saying that. But what do you mean you're not saying that? You are being <laughs> dirty now. Like, look at you. You said they are strong. What they will do exactly? What do you mean? You see, you always have this. Uh, evil mentality of you, taking you, but your but because your Quran says that those kids those boys they will never bleed those boys will what will never bleed bleed okay why they will not bleed they are strong because they are strong that's how beautiful Allah made them you know what what the beauty have to do with the bleed they are boys women they bleed but why boys will bleed from what I don't know. You, you should know what context are like. No, you tell me. You are the Muslim who you, you are the only smart person I in the family between Muslim, all your brothers and your, your mom. She have only one son anyway. So you are the genius and you are saying to me that those people, they will not look. The Muslim, they translate the word bleed that they will not get drunk. Are they going to drink with you? Oh, so it's actually drink. But the, the boys will drink with you. You will be drinking with boys. Or they are servants. I mean, if they are, they are servants, but if if we want them to eat with us, they will. Uh, okay, but here in Arabic it says lay and zifun. They will not bleed. So why they are saying they will not get drunk? Okay, so every single translation says drink and not bleed. Hmm. So why they are why it says here, you know. So are they mean so they mean that they will not bleed from drinking? If if that Arabic word is actually bleed, then I would have to ask somebody why uh, instead of like writing bleed, why okay, let me ask you. Let us let us let us take it uh, here. It says here that those boys 
around them they are youth and in different verse it says that those youth are very white why they have to be white why they are so white they are the same as look look look, look mean uh, you know like uh, pearls they are so white like pearls why wow. they are why they are so white uh, you see when you will see how a pearl looks like yeah. beautiful yeah. shining bright okay then so, you will see its beauty Allah is describing them how they will be in beauty so you like a beauty you like you like pretty boys around you no that's not what I'm saying but you, Allah, you are the one Allah who is said, beautiful okay. every part of his is beautiful okay you say that they are young males they are very very pretty and they are pretty like pearls right do you agree with the word pearls with the Quran yes I okay do. what 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 does that mean by saying pearls like pearls pearls means like a diamond you know like a pearls rare is diamond. not diamond pearls is uh, very white yeah okay so why they are extremely white I mean what what that pleasure will give you what what is special about it and why they are boys by the way why they are not male big male why they are boys uh young young male servants not young kids no it says boys gulman gulman yeah gulman yeah gulman is boys and what's for adults rajol this, this yeah this is why when mary she gave birth to jesus according to the quran it says he is a gulam you know gulam so this gulam is a very young he is a child so why a child he will serve somebody how a child can serve anyone anyway it's when, not like if you go if you go in the quran you will see the word gulam appear in many places in the quran and then he this is mary uh, uh you know uh, even the story of abraham the story of uh, uh, mary the story of zechariah etc etc it says that this is a gulam how i'm going to have a little child and uh, I am old, like Abraham's wife, she said. Uh, uh, and Abraham, he said. So, uh, uh, Ghulam is uh, having a child, a baby. So, how the baby will serve you? Yeah. Uh, how the baby will serve you? Look, those are the things of afterlife, right? So, yeah. You don't and, know the and, reaction. Uh, and, okay, obviously, you have no idea what you are talking about. Uh, we, so, guys, after two, one hour, he came to the conclusion this is afterlife. For sure, afterlife, we are talking supposedly about heaven. What's wrong with you? Listen, Abdul, uh, focus with me. So, the, they are little boys, and they are the one who need somebody to serve them. So, how little boys can serve you when they are the one who need a servant? That's why I don't believe that they are little kids you how know? old how old they are what do you mean they are not little how old they are, they are at least adults right. so why they are saying that they are very little young it says young, well, young meanings uh, like not old young you know ah, like, okay. I, I am 21 okay. years okay. old. those boys allah allah uh, he created them just to serve you right yeah okay no, I mean, is that, I don't, is, that, like, is that fair? Is that fair that to have a slavery in heaven? Do you support slavery in heaven? Is that justice that you are just sitting in your ass and there is 80,000 little boys serving you? Is that justice? Is that make God happy? What is justice? What those boys did? Justice is that God created a creation. Yeah, so you create you create them to abuse them? No. So isn't it abuse? Do you like to be a servant too? Do you like to be a servant one of mine? I will go to heaven now and Allah will make you a servant. Is that something you like? Be honest. In the Akhirah, these people will serve uh, people of paradise. So these servants will actually feel proud. Oh my God, these are the people of paradise. That okay, serve. why so? Okay, guys, those, the servant will be proud. They are serving Abdul for eternity. They are proud. I mean, look, look at the logic. Look at the stupidity. What, what, did you, what, what did you eat today? Do you, do you like to be proud to serve me? I will give you a job. I'm going to convert to Islam. And I will ask Allah to make you my servant. Do you like that? Not in this world. Why not? Okay, do you like to be my servant in heaven? 
if I didn't exist as a human and Allah created so me, so those just... boys are not a human. Who said they are human? So why you call them boys? Maybe Allah is just giving you an idea that they will be young boys, like young boys, you know. So when he say boys, they are not boys. They are what? Young plastic? Are they boys or they are not? But they are not going to be like us, free will people, you know. They are going to be <laughs> like angels. <laughs> Uh, okay, yes, you know, yes. listen, listen. What what is your Islamic sect? Are you you are a Sunni? I am a Muslim. What does that mean? Are you Sunni or not? I am somebody who follows uh, Quran and Sunnah. You you can call me Sunni, but I don't really Quran like Quran and Sunni. You are Sunni. Okay, so because your prophet he said that the Sun the Muslims there will be seventy three sect. Mm -hmm. Okay, which one is the one will go to heaven? The one which my prophet said, uh, Allah's hand is upon the ijma. Okay. And they will never ever be misguided until the day of judgment. That's wonderful. But isn't it Allah, he said too, that the most of people, they will not believe until they became mushrikeen, which means the majority, they will be mushrikeen. So how that will be the ijma? How stupid is that? If the majority, they will be mushrikeen. Go watch the video of Sheikh Asim. He will say to you, that the majority of the believers of the Muslims they will believe but they are mushrikeen so the majority are mushrikeen not the, the minority are, are, are the true believer even your prophet he said that the Islam start as a small and will end as a small so the ijma will happen if ijma happen that the majority and the majority they are not the Muslim no more uh, is it true what what you are showing right now on uh, this hadith that Jews were split 71 according to you this is not according to me this is according to your funny prophet so i think this is also gonna happen right until the day of judgment i think uh, okay and the christian there will be 72 sect and the muslim will be 73 so what muhammad did muhammad he was a failure he is the, the worst his his religion is 73 73 time divided the Christian and the Jews, they are more successful to preserve their book then. Uh, uh, you see, I see, yeah. Even though they are divided, mm. but my Prophet was shown. His, so, was shown what? Was shown all the prophets. And when he saw all the prophets behind them, were very few people. But when uh, he was shown his ummah. Hmm. He saw all of the heaven filled up. Hmm. That's how many people followed him and went into Jannah. Oh my God. Oh my Allah. But look what happened now. If your prophet is saying the truth then, if the majority of people who will go to heaven is the Muslims, so how your prophet says the majority they will leave Islam? Isn't it the Muslim they say? And your prophet he says, Islam is start as a small and end as a small. Okay, I will explain to you that too. Explain to me. The end will be small. Hmm. Allah will take, uh, you know, Jesus will come back. Okay. And when he will come back, it will be very near of end of time. But your prophet, he said that Jesus is already coming. And that is the sign of the judgment day. Actually, your prophet, he said that you know, uh, Jesus will come now and he will be Imam between you, between you. Yes, but you are absolutely correct. But what you are understanding through it is wrong. What do you mean? You just said I am absolutely true. So your prophet, he confessed that Jesus will come in his lifetime. No, no, no. no. That's where you are wrong. Hmm. Because uh, again, repeat what you said. Jesus will come during the lifetime of and Muhammad. Imam will be within you, right? He will be within you, speaking to the people around him, right? Hmm. Yes, and we have other hadith explaining what that is. My pro me, go ahead. Prophet said how great of a, a, his uh, one of his kids will be. You know, his uh, member of his progeny, Imam Mahdi alayhi salam.
don't go there don't go it says that messiah the messiah will come between you speaking to people in front of him people in front of him not generations to come <laughs> you see this is why you have to be honest see when you ask me something i try to be honest mm. but you try but you are not you're saying no i am honest obviously okay, but, but you just said you try to be honest look i am honest okay but so I... okay hold on i'm asking you now for the last, i don't want to repeat myself is jesus going to come during the time of muhammad or after absolutely after absolutely after okay so if we show a hadith saying muhammad he said that you know uh, uh, he will come between you and he will be imam between you speaking to people in front of his face that means muhammad is a liar right no 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 what do you mean no no so why muhammad saying he will come and he will be between you speaking to people in front of him that's why you have to understand what we Muslims believe about that. What do you mean? You... So your prophet, he used the wrong language. He isn't. He's. A... Oh. Are you are you insulting your prophet? I I, I smell something fishy about you. It looks oh. like it sounds like you are trying to insult prophet of Allah peace be upon him, trying to make fun of his belief, and you are not serious. I am saying to you, the prophet said so. You say to me, you don't understand. Which means you are saying that when Muhammad he said things. Is confusing no I am saying you guys don't understand it and you guys believe about it whatever you guys want to believe about it what, what does that it, mean I'm asking you now is Jesus going to come during the time and the life of the Muslims in the time of Muhammad no I said no okay when you say to me you don't understand you know what I'm talking about at least I said you don't understand but I understand do you understand what? I understand that hadith that you showed me, where my prophet said, what glory will be of this ummah when Jesus, son of Mary, will uh, descend down. Okay. And that Islam will be amongst you. Amongst and... you. Okay. What, do you know the hadith? Do you know the hadith number? I, I don't know the hadith number, but I have read it. Okay. So, but it says amongst you, right? Yes. Okay. What he would do amongst you? Who? The Messiah, what he will do? When he will uh, descend yeah. uh, on two angels, subhanAllah, when he will come what, down. What he will do? When my Jesus, uh -huh. Christ, peace be upon him, yeah. when he will come down, already Imam Mahdi salam, will be leading the prayer. So Jesus will say, it's okay, Allah has given this Ummah, this uh, glory that I will pray behind one of you. So Imam Mahdi salam, will lead the prayer. Your, and your prophet, he said that? Yes, there is a hadith, right? You don't know? Okay, no, we will, not, we will take one by one. So can you give me the hadith about when Jesus will come? During the end of time, obviously we don't have exact date. No, no, I'm asking you. The hadith, the hadith is speaking about the end of the time. Let us see if the hadith says the end of the time or not. Can you give me the hadith? Near the end, it's understandable that uh, obviously Jesus, because Allah said in the Quran, Jesus is uh, shines of day of judgment. Uh, but Muhammad, he said that Jesus, liushik na, liushik. Do you know what Yushik mean? No. Almost here. Yes, okay. I will explain to you what almost means. Okay, what does that mean? Because you see, this world is just few thousand years. Hmm. Let's say a few thousand years are left for it to end. Okay. And after that, it's eternity. So when you compare this few thousand years to eternity, obviously my prophet is going to say almost. But he said, he did not even say almost. He said, the Yushikna. Yushikna is very so extremely soon was. and did he say among you yes okay you who you mean umma no he's speaking to people in front of him and um, you see that that's where you see christian prince i ask you to be very honest 
you know exactly among you meaning Oma and their hadith about Imam Mahdi, which are no not problem. Open. He is speaking to people in front of him, right? Did he say in the future, or he said soon will de will descend among you, speaking to people in front of him? Did he say that he will descend among your generation, your childrens, or he said you? He said you absolutely. Okay, so if I am saying to you, you are in front of me, and I say Jesus will de descend amongst you, I am not meaning somebody will come ten thousand years after. Amongst you, obviously, Sahaba knew that he was talking about uh, Sahab, uh, Sahaba's uh, generation, you know, until the end of time. So you, you, know? you have to add words to Muhammad words so you no. can fix his silly statement, I'm right? Only sticking to this hadith, you are not opening hadiths which uh, my Prophet clearly states about okay. Imam. Give me, give me the hadith which is a clearly state. Go ahead. I have read it. But I don't know the number. You you sh you just type in Imam Mahdi, it will come. Imam Mahdi. So if we if we type Imam Mahdi now, that will fix the problem. Mahdi, open Mahdi. Hadith. Why okay, don't you want? Let, to talk let me ask you, who is in, who is this guy Mahdi? Wow, he is such a great person. Like why he is a great person? What he would do? What is he now? Is he born yet or not yet? Not yet. I mean, what do you mean he, not yet? I thought he is born already and he disappear. No, he, he could be still on this earth, like he, he might be born, but we okay. don't know. Is, is it true that he is born of a woman and she gave birth to him from her thigh? Where did you get that from now? From the Hadith. There's, Which tons, hadith? Of, there's tons of books about uh, the birth of... Uh, uh, and not I, only that, especially the I, Shia, especially the Shia. Like Al-Mahdi, when he fell down in his ass, he don't fart. You know, those are Shia hadith. I don't believe in any of them. Okay, so give me the hadith about Al Mahdi so we can learn something about him, something serious. You already know, but you're not opening from Sahih it, Bukhari. It, it, show me, uh, give me, give me something to, to, to prove that this guy is, exists. I mean, this guy, even you Muslim, you say you claim that he is the grandsons of Peter, the disciple of Jesus. You Muslim are crazy. Tell me who is this guy, Al Mahdi? I want to know who is his father. I no, no, not father and mother. We are only talking about Imam Mahdi. Who okay, he I'm is. asking you, who is this Mahdi? Who his father is? Okay, okay let me tell you who he is. Let, let me tell you. Okay. Said, okay tell me. On near the, you know, uh, yeah. uh, near the day of judgment from my progeny. Okay, who, who is Al Mahdi? Who is Al Mahdi? Give me his father. Who is who is who is Al Mahdi? We don't know when he will come. We will know. <laughs> <laughs> and my prophet, you know how important so Imam he did not come yet. Allahu alam. What do you mean he did not? He, he's go, he's go, he's he's a <laughs> guys. Allahu alam. <laughs> is your Mahdi is from the twelve Imam or not? From the twelve Imam, yes, he will be an Imam. No, no, uh, is he from the 12 Imam after Muhammad? If he is from the 12 Imam, that's mean 12 Imam, they passed from long time ago. We are in the, we are 1400 years after Muhammad. So 12 Imam will be 12 generation. So what um, is the Mahdi? No, Imam, I think he will be an Imam, uh, the last Imam, like near the Day of Judgment. Yeah, my friend, the Day of Judgment, he said in front of you, Jesus will come among you. That is the Day of Judgment. Isn't it the Quran says, the moon is split asunder and the judgment day is near? Yeah. Okay. So, is it proving that the judgment already started because the moon is split asunder? Is it this is a sign of the judgment day? Yes, signs. My prophet himself was a sign. He said, uh, he said, uh, he, he, he put his two fingers and he said, I am to the day of judgment or we are like this close. All right, so you, you you got your prophet busted. How how close he is? He opened his finger, right? Yes. Okay. So how that can how how he can be prophet then? If he say this is how close we are, and then never you know never happen. First, uh, we uh, we skip to a topic. First, talk about Imam Mahdi. Okay. And no, I will... We we will go. We will talk about. It. Don't worry. We have time. Did your prophet say to a, you know when I said to you that the Messiah will descend among you? You said this is about the future, right? 
of course it's about because all of the sahaba knows what prophet alayhisalam is talking about okay this dear prophet says to a person in front of him that this child will not grow old before the judgment day comes no, don't change the topic i'm not we are talking about it yeah the same, same thing here we go read with me read with me read with me read you are talking about that orphan girl i'm I, i'm talking about a person he was in front of muhammad and he is a boy he said that this person will not live until the judgment day come he, which means he will not die he will not even grow old which means judgment day will happen maximum 20 years 30 years maximum he's a boy so he will not even then you recall haram haram is something somebody is 30 35 and and over so this boy will not grow old till the last hour would come and this is your prophet hadith in front of you read it a young boy of Mughira bin Shub Shuba is it Shuba happened to pass by Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam and he was of my age. Hmm. Uh, thereupon Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said if he lives long he would not grow very old till the last hour would come. Hmm. How we can fix this one now? Now this one I will honestly I will ask uh, to people of knowledge Even what this one need to ask people of knowledge I mean what's wrong with you it's so clear this boy will not grow old until the hour come this boy he is in front of him speaking about individual we know okay. we even oh. know we even know his father name so this boy the son of al mughira or maybe the slave of al mughira who care he will not grow old until the hour come. So the maximum will be, let us say this boy will live a uh, hundred year, uh, three hundred year. You know what? My grandfather, this is a true story, by the way. He lived, you know, he lived for 10,000 years. He was an, an antique. I, we got him from the museum. This is where my grandmother, she got him. So this boy will not grow old until the hour comes. So how you can play with this game with me now? Do you, you want uh, some duct tape? Because your prophet is leaking badly now. No, no, no. I think what he meant, this are wisdom. Even this one, he meant something else. He said, this boy, he said, this boy will not grow old until the day of judgment come. Even this one, he did not mean this. I think there is an explanation. For Muslim. sure there's an explanation. I mean, it's very easy. This boy will not grow old until the day of judgment come. Obviously, if I take it literally, then obviously they have. So, what does that mean? This is not literally? This is not literally, guys. If I'm honest, like that. Just take a hike. Come on. I gave you time. I give you a chance to talk. You're silly.